time to look at a practical application question. Look at this one. It says a cube has a volume of 12,167 cubic feet. Oh my goodness, I couldn't even give you an even number to do a nice factor tree with. Well, that's gonna be a problem. But remember, we're talking about a cube, which is a 3D diagram, okay? It's a 3D diagram. It says, using a factor tree, determine the surface area of this cube. So we're assuming that being that this is a cube, this side, this side and this side are the same. So in other words, if we wanted to actually find a side length, we can take the cube root of this. Okay, well, look what this says. It says, hint, start your factor tree in the 20s. Well, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a hint. Again, I'm gonna break this down and I'm gonna tell you right away it's 23. How do I know it's 23? Well, one of the reasons why is I'll bring up my calculator here. I got 12,167, 12,167. I'm gonna try in my 20s, I'm gonna try 21. If I try 21, it gives me a decimal. So I know that's not gonna work. I'm not gonna try 22 because after all, that's not even, okay? But I'm gonna try the next one, which is 23. So 12, 167, I'm going to divide it by 23. Here it is, boom, okay? 529, so this is 23 and 529. So since I'm in the 23s already, and I know I'm talking about cubic, which is threes, I have a funny feeling, since I've tried 21 already, I have a funny feeling, and especially this with this being a nine, I'm going to try 23 again. Okay, so 529 divided by 23, let's see what we get. We, in fact, get 23. So guess what? This is 23 times 23. So using the factor tree, I found out the cube root of this thing is actually 23. So that means each one of these sides is 23 by 23 by 23. Right? So let's look at the front surface. The front surface then would be 23 times 23, which the nice thing about the factor tree is I already have that number, which is right here. So I know it's 529 for just the surface of the front face. Now, being that this is a cube, I know I have how many faces? Yeah, you guessed it, six. Okay, so I'm gonna take my 529 here, 529, I'm gonna multiply it by six, and I get 3,174, and there is my surface area. Now, be careful, it's in feet, so that means surface area, this is in feet squared. And that's how you do one of these using a factory tree.